What's up, Yins guys? Welcome back to Fishing PA with Ryan Reed. Man, it has been a while since I've done an episode from the office. Now, I was recently up at the Linesville Hatchery, and I spent some time with Jared Sayers. We had an awesome day stalking some muskies. Now, while I was up there, I had the opportunity to spend some time with Jared, and we talked about the fishery, and we talked about a lot in general. But one of the topics that we kind of discussed while I was up there was resources that are available for us as fishermen. Now, I've been meaning to do this episode for quite some time because personally, the topics that we're going to talk about in this episode have helped me tremendously over the last few years, particularly fishing in the state of Pennsylvania. So Jared and I talked about the Fish and Boat website and just how useful that site is and just how much information is actually out there for you guys as fishermen. In addition to that, PA Fish and Boat, they have an awesome mobile app that you guys can pick up on your tablet or on your cell phone and take with you out in the field. So what I'd like to do in this episode is I want to spend some time highlighting the PA Fish and Boat website and also talk about the mobile app for those of you that are not using these tools and hopefully it'll give you guys the opportunity to learn something new. These resources are valuable for us as fishermen. There's a lot of good information out there that'll translate into helping you guys find fisheries, find good water, and also catch more fish. So with that said, I just want to go ahead and jump into the demo of the website, and then we're going to take a look at the mobile app. All right, Yins guys. So the first thing we're going to do is launch a browser of choice. I'm going to launch Google Chrome here. And what we're going to do is a simple Google search for PA Fish and Boat. Now we're going to go to the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission homepage. Now a lot of you have probably seen this page. Now there's a lot of good resources that are available right on the main page here. As you guys can see, you can see the 2019 trout stocking schedule. You have a direct link to the best fishing waters in Pennsylvania. And we also have a link directly to gonefishingpa.com. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, you're also going to see trout reports. It's going to break it out per region. It's going to give you a quick link to biologist reports and also strategic planning. So PA Fish and Boat is giving us insight into what their strategic plan is quarterly throughout the year. Now, they also show you upcoming events here. You can see that on September 2nd, there's a Mentored Youth Fishing Day. There's a lot of awesome programs that they offer, especially for younger ones, to get them involved in the sport of fishing. Now, if we scroll back to the top, really the resources that I wanted to show you guys is under fish. If you select fish in the top right, you can select fishing, Pennsylvania fishes, stocking schedules, stocking in general, regulations, and information about the fisheries and habitat improvement. We're going to start with fishing because this is where I spend the majority of my time on the site. Now here again, we have quick links for fishing regulations. They break it down by county. Again, more stocking information. And one of the really awesome features about this site is the interactive map with geographic information. We're going to get into this here in a minute. Now, if you guys look to the right here, you're going to see Pennsylvania Best Fishing Waters. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this is going to open up the Best Fishing Waters page. And what's really nice about this is it actually breaks it out per species of fish. So if I'm focusing or targeting bluegill or bullhead catfish or crappie or largemouth or muskie or trout, they break this out here per species so that you guys can click on an area and get a quick list of all of the best fisheries for that particular species. Now, in this case, I selected tiger muskie. And you're going to see all of the large reservoirs, 500 acres or larger, listed right here. You're also going to see medium reservoirs and major river systems. Now, the nice thing about this is if I want to click on Edinburgh Lake, this is going to take us directly out to that Pennsylvania Fish and Boat map through ArcGIS. Now, this is absolutely fantastic. This is a great resource for you guys as fishermen. Now, we're going to come back to this in a second because I want to show you how powerful this actually is. So just know that you guys can click on these and it'll take you directly to the lake so you know where it's located. 
Now, if you guys want some additional information on best fishing waters, you can come back to the best fishing waters page and just select program information. They give you a nice little overview in this PDF that you guys can read about. And it really just kind of a quick snapshot of what this program means and what they're trying to accomplish. So again, the transparency is absolutely critical because they're trying to do the best they can to manage our fisheries and they want to let us know what they're up to. Now, another fantastic resource on this page is the biologist reports. If you guys aren't reading these biologist reports, you need to spend time and do some research on waters that you guys fish to understand how your lake is thriving. Now, for example, if I wanted to click on just a random biologist report or a specific area for a biologist report, I can click on that and then it'll break it down per lake. So for example, if I'm really, really interested in looking at Green Lake Reservoir right here, which is not that far from me, I can come to this page, I can click the Green Lake Reservoir 2016 report. Now this is going to pop up the actual biologist report and it's going to explain what species of fish are in that lake. It's going to give you the average size and it's also going to give you the number caught during their electrofishing or whatever means they're trying to accomplish to collect these fish. They give you some really nice graphs and they give you some awesome pictures to match up with those numbers. This piece of information is absolutely critical to you guys as fishermen. If you guys want to know how a body of water is doing in the state of Pennsylvania, go out there and check out the biology report and it's going to give you a fairly good idea of how the lake is progressing. Now the other thing is you guys can get yearly snapshots here. So you see for High Point Lake right here in Somerset County, we have reports for 2003, 2005, 2007, and 2016. So it gives you that measurement over time and you guys can look at those reports and see how the lake has been doing since 2003. That's really awesome information that will help you guys analyze how that body of water is doing. And really, it gives you the opportunity to check out multiple bodies of water that you guys fish. All right, guys, another feature of this is the summary of PA regulations. Now, if you ever need to check a PA regulation for fishing, you can come out to this page and you guys can check it by location. You can check it by species. You can look at all the requirements and laws here, and then you can also download the summary book. Now, as you guys know, they cost $1.88 to actually purchase a hard copy of the book. But the nice thing is they make this available online as a free resource. So again, it's just integrated into the site and it's nice and easy to be able to pull that up on your cell phone through the mobile app in case you have a question on a particular body of water. All right, guys, one other thing I want to mention on this page really quick is just the Fish and Boat PA mobile app. Now, you guys can go out to the App Store on your Apple or your Android phones or your tablets, and you guys can take a look at this mobile app. It's just such a neat little app to have on your phone or on your tablet so that you guys can look up regulations, you can look up information about the fisheries, the stocking schedules. There's just a tremendous amount of resources available in this little app that, that you guys can take on the mobile platform out in the field. So go out to your app store, check out that mobile app, give that a download and give that a test drive on your mobile device. It's just an awesome resource to have in your hands. All right guys, one other thing I wanted to mention really quick is under fish, at the very bottom here, you're gonna see habitat improvement. Now, if I click habitat improvement, it's gonna take me to this page. And this page is absolutely wonderful for you as a fisherman, because this is gonna show you the habitat improvement plans for specific lakes across the entire state. What this is gonna give you is this is gonna give you the information regarding the plan, and this is gonna give you locations of all of the habitat management pieces like cribs and rock rubble humps and all of those features that fish and boat place into a lake to increase habitat for the fisheries. So if you guys come in here, you can actually take a look at some of these videos that they've posted on specific lakes. I get a lot of questions about Lake Wallen Pawpack. Notice I said Pawpack this time, not Pawpack. Or you guys can take a look at some of the projects, habitat sampling results, 
and also just standard drawing. So if you want to come in here and actually look at what a porcupine crib is, you can select this and you can get the full drawing of what an actual porcupine crib is. So it's really, really nice feature of this website, especially when you're talking about maps. You know, if you guys click on this lake habitat map and say I want to look at Keystone Lake in Armstrong County, I can pull this up and I can actually get a full on snip of the entire lake with each one of these features. So I can see that there's porcupine cribs here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So if I were to look at this, you can see felled trees, you can see porcupine cribs, you can see the rock rubble humps. You can see a lot of these features that fish and boat places into the lake to increase fish habitat. So again, this is a key feature of this website for you guys as fishermen. Go out there, spend some time to read the fish habitat improvement plans. It's not only going to help you locate additional structure in a lake, but it's going to give you a general idea of what Fish and Boat is doing to continue to improve fish habitat throughout the state of PA. All right, guys, I just want to go back to the Fish and Boat website. We're actually going to go to the top right and we're going to select Pennsylvania Fishes. Now, this is an area that's very interesting to me because Fish and Boat has put this section together to really provide you guys with really good species specific information. Now we're talking about all of the native species here in the state of Pennsylvania. If you guys click some of these links, you can get species specific links to learn more about the fish. For example, if I want to go in and learn about steelhead, I can come in here, I can click the steelhead link and I can get a tremendous amount of information about steelhead. So again, just another area that provides great information for you guys as fishermen. So if we go back up and we hit fish at the top right again, we can go down and look at the stocking schedules. You guys can get a really quick snapshot of the stocking schedules per your county. So if I selected uh, Westmoreland here, I can look at the county map. You can select your dates and you can basically hit go and search. And it will process all of the stocking that occurs during that time frame. Pretty useful information. All right, guys, right back to the main page here. Another thing I want to highlight is the resource tab. Now, under the resource tab, you guys can come in here and get a lot of information on amphibians and reptiles, the habitat programs, the PFBC lakes, aquatic invasive species, and all types of environmental services. So again, this is an awesome little section here of the website that just provides some really good information about habitat and different types of of animals and species of fish throughout the state of Pennsylvania. All right, guys, the next section that we're going to go to is we're going to go back up to fish and we're just going to select fishing. Now, under the fishing page, again, regulations, the county guide, stocking, PA lakes, regional reporting, biologist reports, all of this information is quick linked here and you guys can access all of it. But the big coup de gras here, the interactive maps and geographic information. If you guys click that link, this opens you up to a giant map gallery. Now, this is really, really cool because this right here will help you guys locate bodies of water to target specific species of fish. Now, for example, if I want to look at the warm water slash cold water fisheries, I can come here and I can click that link for the interactive map. And this is going to pull up on the right hand side a legend. Now it's going to tell you if you're looking for largemouth bass, hit one on the far left. If you're looking for musky pike pickerel, hit two. Catfish, panfish, sunfish, hit three. Walleye sauger, four. Striped bass and striped hybrid bass, hit five. So I'm going to come here and I'm looking for musky waters. I'm going to hit number two. And I'm going to come here. I'm going to say give me all musky lakes and all musky streams. Now here you guys can see all of the streams populate and also these little red dots. So if I wanted to scroll into this little red dot here in Westmoreland County, this is actually going to take me directly to Loyal Hannah Lake. Now from here, I now know that Loyal Hannah Lake has muskie in it. 
So you guys can see how powerful this particular interactive map is. You guys can look at northern pike lakes and tiger musky lakes and whatever other species of fish you want to look at by simply clicking the button and selecting those options. And it'll provide to you all of those bodies of water that hold those species of fish. All right, guys, I want to go back a level here and I want to go back to the map gallery. Now, there's a lot of other interactive maps here that might be useful to you guys. You know, one of which is this county guide. If I click the county guide, this is going to pop up a bunch of resources. So on the left hand side, you can see all of the state fish hatcheries. You can see all of the boat accesses. You can see class A streams, uh, stock trout lakes, stock, tr stock trout streams. Um, all of this information like PFBC offices is very helpful from time to time. So that interactive map through the county guide is really beneficial. Now back to this, if you guys want to see Pennsylvania lakes, you can also click this interactive map. And what this will do is this will provide to you guys a bunch of different resources across the entire state. You've got these little red icons here, you've got some blue icons, and you've got these little fish icons. Now when you scroll in here, and for example, I'm just going to pick one, you can click on this, and this is going to give you a pop-up that says Access Lake Donegal, Lake Under Drawdown. Now we know Donegal Lake has been drained, so that information is actually up to date. So if you look at this other one, Green Lake Reservoir, it's going to give you a link to the feature page, the regulations, boating regulations, and the Lake Habitat Improvement Plan. So great resources for you guys to come out here and do some research and learn more about your local lakes. So do yourself a favor, go out to the PA Fish and Boat website and check out these interactive maps. All right, guys. The only other thing to mention is that PA Fish and Boat, they've got Facebook account, they got an Instagram account, they've been posting a lot of stuff on YouTube, and what they're doing is they're being very transparent, giving us a lot of good information about the fisheries. So be sure to go out here, play around on the PA Fish and Boat website, do your research, and try to learn something new. They're providing these resources to us, and we should take full advantage of them as fishermen. All right, Yins guys, I really wanted to spend some time focusing on the PA Fish and Boat website and also the mobile app because they are absolutely wonderful tools and resources for you guys as fishermen right here in the state of Pennsylvania. PA Fish and Boat does an awesome job not only managing the resources, but providing us with awesome information that benefits us as fishermen. So I really wanted to make sure I took some time to highlight these resources. They're super beneficial and hopefully you guys found them to be beneficial as well. If you guys are not using these, you need to invest some time, do some research, and learn something new about our fisheries here in PA. With that said, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button for me. If you guys like this content overall, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. You know, one other thing I wanted to mention to you guys is I've been really active on social media recently. I've been active on Facebook and active on Instagram. I've been posting a lot of the events that I've gone to, some of the tournaments we've been fishing, some of the days out on the water, and really some of the meetings and so on and so forth. So I've been really active and I just wanted to mention that. If you guys have Facebook or Instagram, feel free to reach out to me, send me a message. I'm always willing to talk about fishing. So again, hopefully you guys found this information to be beneficial. All right, Yins guys, tight lines. We will see Yens next time.